Hi, folks. It's Voss here from the Show.com. The Chris Voss Show. Hey, we're down here at SDT. We're in the uh, Korean water section uh, of the thing. And do you have the booth number by chance off the top of your head? 63093. There you go. There you go. So, guys, come see the Murica Park. Uh, and we're talking with Dana here from SDT. Uh, Dana, how are you? Good, thank you, Chris. Thank you so much for having me. It is a pleasure to be here, and it is my honor today to speak in front of you representing SDT here at CES 2023. There you go. And give us a .com wherever people can find you guys on the interwebs, please. Oh, you can find us at sdt.inc, or you can find us on LinkedIn as well with the same name. There you go. So uh, give us an overview, if you would, please, of what uh, SDT does. SDT is um, mainly doing two things. We first, the, the first one is we are connecting the unconnected. So, for example, Smart Manhole, which we brought here, is one of the, um, a, is a great example of what we're doing. Manholes are an example of the unconnected environment, and mm -hmm. I will go into more detail about that later today. And the second main thing that we're doing is we are helping researchers do better research on quantum technology. We provide ex, um, tools that researchers use in labs and universities across the world so that they can make more qubits in a more stable manner. There you go. So you've got some cool products here. Tell us what uh, some of these do. Sure. So we brought the Smart Hub, which is the complete um, integrated system that measures what's going on inside manholes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the news, pretty regularly, you hear about pedestrians falling into manholes or maintenance workers dying from suffocation while yeah. working in manholes. Wow. Scary stuff. And did you know that in 2021, there were 6, 000, more than 6,000 manhole fires just in New York City? Holy crap. Right. What's going on down there? I know, right? The rats are cooking or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is, so this is a simulated manhole cover that we have here. Right. I actually had a friend who she was out just walking, you know, doing her walking, mm -hmm. and she fell in a manhole cover that wasn't fully sealed down. Right. And it hurt her back. And yeah. It's like a big lawsuit. Yeah, it, it is. It sure is. And it's a huge risk factor for cities and companies that own manholes. For wow. example, gas companies, telecommunication providers, as well as factories. There are hundreds of thousands of manholes across the world, and those are basically risk factors. Definitely. Um, and yeah. liabilities. So, right. So this hooks up to the manhole cover. Right. And uh, how does... Well, what is it? What all is in the details there? So this is where all the sensors go. Okay. So for example, some of the things that our customers want to measure from their manholes are water level because they need to be able to predict when flooding is about to happen. Oh. And uh, H2S, hydrogen sulfide, because that's a main thing that kills maintenance workers working Boys. in manholes. Wow. Yeah. Um, Crazy. Carbon monoxide is another one. Open close sensor, just like you mentioned, your, your friend. Um, if she had had, if her city had had this, that would not have happened because the city would have known that the manhole was open. Oh. Yeah. So the main problem with manholes is that manholes go unmonitored unless there is someone watching it right next to it. Yeah. And you know, in this day and age, it, people should not be visiting every single manholes and cannot keep you know accidents happen. Yeah. So basically, your would have a good analogy be you're making manholes smart. Right. So smart technology and right. there you go. And once the data has been collected from inside the manholes, the data will be sent over to the cloud using LTE wow. CAT M1 network. Wow. And this is battery powered as well. Wow. It looks like it has more power than my phone. <laughs> Definitely, Definitely, because it does need to last longer. And uh, we do understand that these are supposed to be installed, on, well, these are, these are meant to be um, installed underneath manhole covers, which mm -hmm. means that these are exposed to harsh conditions. There's yeah. a lot of moisture, it could get hot, really cold inside manholes. So we take that into account and we, our engineers at SDT, um, have gone the extra mile to get the product certified for um, waterproof, shockproof, and explosion protection. Explosion protection too? Yes, wow. because batteries could... Oh, batteries be, could explode, yeah. yeah that's, and I imagine, you know, the salt, there's salt they use on the roads, especially right. in snowy states. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, all sorts of other things. And I see some different ones over here. Is Are these uh, any different or is this the same kind of setup, just showing them externally from a manhole? Um, they just look different because some of our customers want certain designs. Okay. And we, and we But one thing I do want to point out here is that these have been made in a modular design so that we can do maintenance more easily. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you know, when, when it 
when the time to replace the batteries come, you can just take the batteries out and then put them back in. So are all these three batteries right here? Uh, these two are batteries. Okay. This is where all the sensors go. Okay. And this is what sends the data to the cloud. Oh, okay. And yeah. I can see that this is kind of cool. They stack here if right. you need them to as well. So that's right. probably... Depending on how big your manhole is, right? You know, you can you can check that out. So really Absolutely. cool. Yeah, that thank you. Smart. You know, I, I just when I thought they were out of how to make things smarter, mm -hmm. there's always stuff to make smarter. Yeah. Um, so uh, the the reason why we measure things is because we want to be able to tell when accidents are about to occur. So for example, when high and we let our users set their own threshold. So when um, hydrogen sulfide concent concentration level in manholes go above a certain level. The manager who's in charge of that specific manhole will be notified and he or she will dispatch someone to work on that manhole. There you go. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, the smart, smart technology, a smart world. Anything more we need to know about what you guys are doing here? Well, sure. And we also provide a dashboard software so that our end users can see what's wrong with which manhole in which area oh. and so that they can dispatch the right people at the right time. There you go. So who are you looking to meet here at the show? Are you looking to meet fleet managers or facility managers for cities and things of that nature? Definitely. Most okay. of our customers are city governments or sewage system providers. Okay. Um, some of our customers, like I mentioned, are gas, gas companies and telecommunication service providers. There you go. All right. Well, it's been wonderful to spend time with you, Dana. Thank you very much for the information. Uh, give us your .com where people can find you on the interwebs. You can find us at sdt.inc. That's sdt, SDT .inc. There you go. Check it out, guys, and thanks for being here. Thanks so much, Chris. All right.